What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, five-time three-division world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be one of the faces, if not the face of the sport of boxing, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis. It's 29 wins, no loss, no draw. 27 wins by way of knockout. He is 28 years of age, 5'5", five five with a 67-inch arm reach. He's coming off of the biggest fight, the most lucrative fight, and the biggest, one of the biggest fights of his career. April 22nd, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, when he defeated... Former lightweight, now junior welterweight Mexican superstar title contender, King Ryan, Ryan Garcia, via seventh round knockout stoppage victory. He dropped him in the second round, and then he stopped him in the seventh round. And Javante Tank Davis, he's extremely close friends with now former undefeated unified three belt WBA, WBC, IBF welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one, but definitely top five pound for pound best fighters in the world, and Earl The Truth Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. is now 28 wins, one loss, no draw, 22 wins by way of knockout. He's 33 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch armage. With that said, Earl Spence took a nasty beating last night and the most highly anticipated, the biggest fight in boxing in 40 years as he took on now undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, now currently the undisputed welterweight world champion, superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is now 40 wins, no losses, no draw. 31 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 74 inch armage. Terrence Crawford absolutely drugged and obliterated Errol Spence last night. Shockingly. Now, before the fight was made and when it was announced, Javante Tate Davis gave his thoughts and obviously his close friends with Errol Spence. And it was clear he felt a certain kind of way about Terrence Crawford because he even stated that he wanted to go up to welterweight and knock out and get Terrence Crawford out of there. He used other words to describe Terrence Crawford. But when it came to Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, he said, I know what's going to happen. I know how this is going to play out. I know what's going to happen. Earl Spence has an iron shield and Terrence Crawford has a glass shield. So I know what's going to happen and how it's going to play out. He was 1,000% wrong. He couldn't have been no more wrong than right. Right? Errol Spence got dropped three times, and then he got stopped in the ninth round. He won one round, which was the first round, and that was a pick em round, a swing round. Right? And he got dominated. So T Geronte Tate Davis was wrong. So because Geronte Tate Davis was so sure and adamant that Terrence Crawford was going to lose and he had a glass shield and this was talked about throughout the buildup of Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, people wanted to hear Geronte Tate Davis' reaction. So Geronte Tate Davis' team took the social media and they stated that, well, Javante Tate Davis was heartbroken based off of what Javante Tate Davis witnessed. Now, he was supposed to be at the fight. We know Javante Tate Davis recently just got out of jail and he wasn't at the fight. It was anticipated that he was going to be there, but he simply didn't come. Uh, I heard rumblings that the judge was giving him a hard time about leaving. He's still on probation, still have some community service to, to do. So he couldn't be there. So with that said, Javante Tank Davis was heartbroken. 
as many of Errol Finn's family, friends, supporters, it was shocking. We even saw Adrian Broner, four division world champion, superstar boxer, Adrian the Problem Broner, close friend to Errol Spence, who stated that, you know, he had some some very difficult, tough sparring sessions and he close friends with Errol Spence. And he he knew Terrence Crawford was in for a, long, a tough night because Errol Spence is a dog. Adrian Broner after the fight, people asked Adrian Broner his response, put the camera in his face. He didn't say one word. He had nothing to say. And reason being is that they're close friends for Errol Spence for number one. And he took an absolute beating in the ring. Okay. Uh, he didn't just lose. He took an absolute beating in the ring. He got drubbed in the ring, man. He took an absolute beating in the ring. And it was hard to watch. Right. And you can see even Terrence Crawford pulled up. He let off the gas. He could have mashed the gas on Errol Spence some point in time in the fight. And he held off. He had respect for Terrence Errol Spence. Um, and there was even a point in time where he hurt Errol Spence and was just pounding on him. And then when Errol Spence, when the round was over, Errol Spence walked him out to his corner. And Terrence Crawford just wanted to show him love. He, he tapped him on his, on his waist. Showed him good sportsmanship, you know, uh, showed him love, and Errol Spence walked to his corner. And even after the fight, Terrence Crawford went over to him and he told him, listen, you know, um, I respect you. I appreciate you. I thank you for giving me this opportunity. So you can see the respect level, you know, sportsmanship. And they talked on the phone. I believe they got to know each other. They understand there's a lot of similarities. They're both uh, uh, family men. They both fathers, you know, they take care of their kids, they're in their kids' life, and there's a, a, a big mutual respect, and I think that there's love there. I think that they are forever attached to the hip. In the sport of boxing, you always get that one fighter that is gets attached to your hip. Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy Hearns, and Roberto Duran, and Hagler, you know, those guys are attached to one another's hips. Uh, now Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, uh, Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson, you know, um, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, um, and now Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. They're forever going to be, no matter what they do moving forward, when you hear Terrence Crawford's name, you're going to think of Errol Spence, and when you hear Errol Spence's name, you're going to think of Terrence Crawford. They're forever attached to the hip with one another. It's just That's just the way the sport of boxing operates. And so... It's not shocking that, you know, Javante Tank Davis is heartbroken. That's expected. That's his dude. That's his close friend. That's his boy. That's his brother. And he took an absolute drubbing in the ring. Took an absolute beating in the ring. So it's not surprising that Javante Tank Davis is heartbroken. Now, obviously, uh, people want to, you know, uh, go at Javante Tank Davis. They want to troll Javante Tank Davis because he was so confident and adamant that Terrence Crawford had a glass shield and Errol Spence had a metal shield and uh, uh, an iron shield and he knows what's going to happen. That's what he's supposed to say. That's his brother. That's his close friend. That's like asking Errol Spence's sister. You know, they're not blood uh, relatives, Terrence, uh, uh, um, Javante Tank Davis and Errol Spence, but Sometimes, you know, uh, uh, um, water is thicker than blood. And in this case, I believe that that to be the case. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 they extremely close with one another. And Javante Tank Davis is supposed to feel that way. He's supposed to pick Errol Spence. He's supposed to feel like Errol Spence is going to break Terrence Crawford's will. That's what he's supposed to do. That's his brother. That's, who, that's loyalty over everything. He was just wrong. That's it. And he's heartbroken. He should be. He should be concerned. Errol Spence looked terrible when the fight was over. He looked terrible. I'm like, man, Errol Spence needs to go to the hospital. Seriously. He need to get checked out. 
So, Javante Tank Davis being heartbroken, he's supposed to feel that way. That's loyalty over everything. He was wrong, but that's loyalty over everything. He was wrong with his prediction, but that's loyalty to his brother. And he's supposed to be heartbroken. He didn't just lose. He got pummeled. He's supposed to be concerned. Period. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like the shady videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.